Hi, I'm Adrian, or you may know me as Rev K if you read my blog. And as you'll have noticed if you read my blog, I've been playing with playing cards. And one of the things I've been on a little bit of a mission with is making some Stargate cards. So we have a Stargate pack and a nice double pack, the sort of deluxe version. And those are my sample packs I've got from the printer. So yes, I've designed and printed sample packs, uh, done a lot of work on this. But obviously to sell them I'm going to need licensing from MGM because it's got the word Stargate, it's got Stargate glyphs, Altoan characters, that sort of thing on it. So I started this battle to um, get licensing and uh, I got hold of uh, MGM Media Licensing who took weeks to reply. Eventually they put me onto a consumer products licensing person who took weeks to reply. Um, eventually she said yes we can license your cards there's a $5,000 advance royalty. Okay, well, as I said, a bit of a mission here, so not a showstopper. Um, it turned into a 5,000 minimum royalty, so it's not just an advance that we might get a refund of if, if we didn't use it, it's a minimum, but okay. She eventually put me through to their UK agent who answered my initial email in a few days, but then ignored me for weeks. Finally, I spoke to the guy and explained exactly what I'm trying to do. Um, now, all of them have been sent sample artwork. Um, I've got a website with all the details of the cards and the box and everything so they can see. So they knew exactly what I was talking about. But uh, anyway, I spoke to him on the phone and uh, the $5,000 had magically turned into £5,000. Uh, okay, well, like I said, on a mission. <laughs> um, and uh, he was quite stressing the product liability insurance requirements, which are... Um, apparently a concern. Well, I'm puzzled by that because, for yeah, sake, a pack of playing cards. What product liability could there be? And even if there was liability, how could we be liable? We'd have to be negligent. Maybe if the printers hid razor blades in the packs or something, but anyway. What gets me is I can't see how MGM would ever, in any conceivable way, be liable. They, they aren't making them, they aren't selling them. They're a bit of their artworks on the, on the pack, but anyway. But they want this complicated product liability insurance and indemnity. Okay, fine, not insurmountable. I've contacted a few insurance companies who are happy to talk to me about a quote. Can't imagine it'll be expensive because, well, what the hell liability could there be? But anyway, so not a showstopper. The guy finally sends to a sample contract, um, an example of a previous contract. And, well, to start with, it's kind of expected it's a bit one-sided, MGM big company. But I wasn't expecting it to be quite this one-sided. Um, even the, the most reasonable clauses, like the fact that they get to approve the artwork, well, that is reasonable. It's their, their brand on it. But it doesn't have anything in there about not unreasonably withholding approval. It doesn't have a sort of obligation to work with us to achieve approval. Um, it just says they can take 60 days and they can say no and they don't have to say why and there's no refund. Okay, well, unlikely to be that bad um, it's, it's all sort of things to be wary of. There's a whole load of other aspects in there that are a bit one-sided. Um, one, one thing that again seems like a good idea is they can buy the cards from us wholesale. Uh, well that's nice, we might sell more. Um, we still pay royalties on that. Well, okay, I suppose so, we'd, we'd pay royalties if we were selling them wholesale to someone else. Except they can buy them wholesale for 25% below the wholesale price. Now that makes no sense. Why would they have an extra 25% off wholesale price? They're getting royalties even on those. So very one-sided. Um, and also what makes them think I'm building in 25% margin at wholesale? These cards are probably going to sell for less than 25% margin at retail, if that. Um, so, and we weren't planning to wholesale them, so it's, you know, that would make the cards much more expensive to build that in. Um, probably more a question of, probably won't happen um, and ultimately I suppose if it did happen I just put the price up. Um, the other possibility is to do all this through a separate company uh, then all the one-sided things that will probably not happen and to be fair if they're not planning to do them why are they in the contract? Most of those disappear because you can wind up the company. Uh, it's not a nice thing to do but if they're prepared to deal with a new company that would be one way to mitigate the, the one-sidedness but you know not sure I'd do that, but trying to get the cards out there. I think, I think fans will like them. The people I spoke to will, will love them. But anyway, 
so let, let's suppose I can, I can live with the one-sidedness of this contract and hope that the, the nasty things don't happen. Unfortunately, one of the clauses might be a bit of a showstopper. Uh, to put this um, simply, I am trying to get a, a license from MGM to use some of their artwork in which they have copyright on a product I'm making and selling. It's as simple as that. And an example here is that we were looking at making some bridge cards uh, for, for a bridge club and apparently they have barcodes on because they have these these clever dealing machines so that you deal the same hand to, to various players throughout the season so that there's no random bias everyone gets to play the same hands eventually clever stuff but these barcodes are patent by a Swedish company so I investigated licensing that I emailed them on a Sunday afternoon five minutes later I've got all the details it's 10 euro cents per pack yes I can buy a license for 400 packs no problem here's the bank details to pay the, the terms were simple I had to put specific wording on the ace of spades and I had to send them sample packs couldn't be simpler and it shouldn't be more complicated for the MGM stuff really um, it should be pay them money um, either you know one-off fee percentage of retail price amount per pack of cards something um, some requirements to follow a style guide and get approval and kind of that should be it uh, why make it harder why why make it hard work but anyway so this one clause so I'm looking to license from them their artwork this clause requires me to assign copyright in all aspects of the product the cards to MGM so this isn't suddenly about me buying a license from them they're buying a license to my card designs. Well, actually, worse, they're not buying a license to my card designs. They're buying my card designs. And worse, they're not buying, they're not paying me anything for my card designs. Now, even MGM must realise, if you're going to hand over a license or copyright, you expect to get paid. It's the whole basis of this contract. I'm planning to pay them for a license to their copyright stuff. But they've put in a clause where I have to give them all copyright in the cards. Um, that's just what um, even if I was prepared to do that I said I'm on a bit of a mission here I don't think I can for a start the cards use some open source Wikimedia Commons credited on the box material I don't own the copyright in those aspects of the cards so I couldn't assign them even if I wanted to. So I can't comply. But, okay, let's say I redrew the cards using artwork from MGM. If they've got some nice high-res stills at the Stargate, I could. But I still have problems with that. Um, the card designs, the court cards, are based on 18th century, 19th century, what is it, 150-year-old Goodall and Son designs which are out of copyright. So on that basis, I don't own the rights to those um, and couldn't assign them. Arguably I do because I spent a lot of time meticulously remastering those as new vector graphics. So I own the copyright in those, those court cards um, or my redrawing of those court cards. So I could assign that. But what would that mean? That would mean MGM owned the license to my playing cards. So I couldn't sell Andrew's Arnold playing cards or fabric playing cards because they would be using MGM-owned copyright card designs now. I'd need a license from MGM to sell those, even those I designed them. Um, no, that would be crazy. Even if I was prepared to do that, it gets worse. The cardboard box is a nice cutout design that makes this all fold together and makes a nice cardboard box. That's copyright. It's copyright by the printers. I can't assign that because I don't own it. The printers do. But the contract requires I enter into a contract with the printers to bind them to all the same obligations. So I'd have to make a contract with the printers requiring the printers to hand over copyright in that box design to MGM. They won't go for that. So even if I was prepared to bend over backwards, do really stupid things like assign all my copyright to, to MGM, even if I was prepared to do all of that, unless I go out and buy a printing press and print these myself, I cannot adhere to the contract. I, I don't know how anybody makes products to work with MGM. It, it amazes me, I have to say. Um, when I go to this Kalmar thing in Leicester, I'm thinking of speaking to some of the, the merchants there and, and people to find out how they've managed it. 
Um, if there is any way of saving this and finding a way to make these cards, I will. But at the moment, I'm really disappointed to say I don't think they're going to happen. And I think these two sample packs are the only ones that will ever exist. I'm sorry to say. And, um, you know, if you think this is crazy, feel free to hassle MGM on Twitter and whatever. Um, because I think it's crazy. I want to buy a license from them. Why would they insist on buying for free my copyright as part of that? That that just maybe I'm maybe I'm being silly here. Maybe I'm being naive. But as I said, the Swedish company with the patent more than happy to just say, "Yep, here you go, ten euro centre pack sorted." Cost them nothing to sort all that out. MGM, of course, want to draft a new contract with lawyers and all sorts. Why don't they have a standard contract for things like playing cards and card games and, and board games and things that is simple? But no. Okay, that was definitely a bit of a rant, so good one to put on my blog. And I do apologise for getting everyone's hopes up over these cards. Um, it's a shame we can't do it, so sorry.